in spotting a play in paper chromatography, you take the capillary tube, place it inside the ink that you want to transfer, and you dot it on your pencil line. Make sure it's a small dot, and they need to be evenly spaced far apart on your one centimeter pencil line. Pick up your next capillary tube. Make sure the dots are small and evenly spaced. Do that straight up and down. Once you have all your dots, you need to place it in the solution that does not come up to the top in the fume hood. Place the solvent in a beaker under the fume hood. Make sure the solvent does not go above your one centimeter line you've put on the inks. You're going to place it slowly into the beaker sideways where it does not bend. Watch as the solvent travels up but before you need to get the plastic wrap over your beaker. plate out of the solution you're going to measure from the centimeter line to the where the solvent reached the top so at this point it was 4.3 centimeters so we're going to write down the distance of the solvent was 4.3 centimeters then we're going to take for each ink component we have one two three four five and the unknown we're going to measure to the middle of the ink so this one we had one one here we had two which means it was contaminated we measured to the middle the middle and the unknown had two. So then we take these measurements, we'll measure this one, start at the one centimeter, and you go to the middle. So we had two centimeters for ink four. So we say that the ink four traveled two centimeters. So then we would divide the two by the 4.3 is 0.465. Point four six five is our retention factor.
is useful when trying separate mixtures or colors. A compound with a larger RF value is less polar because it has a weaker interaction with the polar absorbent on the TLC plate. The solvent in this experiment is the mobile phase and the stationary phase holds the mixture on the TLC paper. The parts of the mixture travel at different speeds causing them to separate. Chromatography is the method used to separate, identify, and quantify chemical compounds in complex mixtures. These are our final values for our different dyes. This was our water to one propanol to acetic acid, one to one to one ratio. This was our water to acetone to one propanol to acetic acid, one to one to one to one ratio. And this is our 15 to two, two propanol and glacial acetic acid.